so yeah, so there are a couple of concepts around uh, micro payments uh, on blockchain. Even you know, guys, uh, Satoshi itself had a uh, payment channel solution in the first Bitcoin version. It was just not very secure because it was relying on miners, but there there was already a solution for that. So let's look uh, on generic logic because maybe some people are not uh, not, not 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 that that much uh, uh, already did, uh, discovered that. Uh, so we have Alice and Bob, and if Alice and Bob would put to some kind of smart contract called payment channel, for example, or state channel on Ethereum, usually called some kind of co coins, they could then send to each other signed transactions of the balance of this uh, smart contract. Like now Alice has four, Bob has six, now Alice has three, Bob has seven. And that's in gen generally that's a signed transaction by both parties who agrees with the, the signatures of both parties, but they don't send that transaction to blockchain because they could do that at any moment of time. And while they are sending that, they are finishing, and then some of them decide to close channel. Uh, in our case, we call that set on chain. That could be after month of their communication, after a couple of years communication, whatever, after one hour. When they are comfortable, you just settle, and then both get their tokens. Um, the problem is, in, if you would just use payment channels uh, in Mysterium, like we already have 600 providers at the moment, and we have 10,000 consumers. Okay, not each consumer will use each provider, but to get more privacy and all the things, consumer most probably will try to get at least channels with 10 or 20 providers. So we would have a lot of on-chain transactions just to, to establish payment channels to them. And uh, actually there is one DVPN which decided to go that direct, uh, direction. And then you have big problem because each hour you're kind of doing new Ethereum transaction to blockchain to renew balances to like, it's, it's very expensive. Even if they are sending each minute and you're still getting cut of costs, it's not enough. It's definitely not enough. It's too expensive and, uh, and also establish channel takes time because they have to make a transaction to blockchain. So you have to know in advance that you're using this uh, uh, provider. That's definitely not working. So there is an uh, also notion of something similar to digital checks people used before. Uh, we call them payment promises. And uh, in payment promises, we assume that uh, people that, uh, like pink in one direction. So, 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 so just imagine that uh, Alice is uh, topping up their smart, uh, his smart contract and Alice is a consumer, yeah? He has a mobile application, just says, look guys, on my account, on blockchain, I have 20 tokens. And then I am sending different of uh, each of you some amount of tokens. And then uh, I, I, I gave, for example, for Dave, 11 tokens. And I could give for Bob nine tokens and Carol 15. And then who first is trying to settle from that smart contract that will get money. The, the, the last one will not get because there is a possibility of double spend. The plus of this approach is that Alice is doing once transaction to blockchain. He can use the same channel for millions of users, like millions of providers and they are just going to settle. But the problem is double spending uh, problem. Uh, so, so, so actually, uh, what's the current solution which most of networks doing? They are doing payment via intermediaries. And to, to have a secure payment via intermediaries, uh, let's imagine that we are established uh, these lines, it's, uh, it's payment channels between different people, so Alice pays Bob, Bob pays Carol, Carol Dave. And we just imagine that uh, if Alice would like to pay to Dave, she would give some money for Bob, Bob would transfer to Carol, Carol to Dave. If somebody looked to uh, Lightning Network, that the uh, generic solution of Lightning Network, it's, 
and it's done in the way that the final uh, receiver of transaction is creating something called hash lock or like kind of invoice and saying, look, I am expecting from you one token, but uh, uh, I am sending you this special hash lock that's a um, hash of some random number, which only Dave knows. And if I will not get money, I will not reveal uh, this number. So when Bob is getting a uh, transaction from Alice, Bob kind of could not send forward, but he don't know this R, random number. So it's worthless transaction for, for, for him. And if he would like to get uh, like uh, some reward for this resending, he, he will send forward. And then Dave will start revealing the, this key to Carl and all of them will reveal back. And then we have settled transaction. It takes second or so. Uh, the problem when you're building such a network of many people in a row uh, that you have to construct the network. That's why Lightning Network is built so long. There are so many edge cases. When you try to do transaction, one of them can disappear. Uh, and actually in our case, it uh, could be simpler. Uh, so we did simplified lightweight solution of what Lightning Network does. We called it Hermes. It's a god of wealth. And uh, in our uh, case, uh, like just imagine that consumer is sending m money to some kind of hub or accountant service, which will resend money to provider. Only one hub always no more hops, only one hop. There could be a couple of uh, these Hermeses or accountants on the network, uh, but always uh, only one hop. Uh, so it's no problems with routing. And many consumers can establish uh, channels with one accountant and send to provider. And actually the consumer in our case is doing top up to his channel. He's, he can do top up many times. He can do that directly from, uh, from exchange. He has the address uh, wallet on which is smart, uh, we host uh, this channel smart contract and it's reusable uh, smart contracts differently than in Lightning Network when you sometimes have to rebalance things, then you have to establish new addresses, new, new uh, doing new transactions. In our case, you are just topping up this address and uh, he, you send payments to provider, not through accountant, because uh, maybe provider can risk that 0 0.0005 cents and not even try to talk to accountant because accountant can be not available for a second or disappear. So in our case, we first send transaction to provider and then provider in some moment of time when he has this transaction, which accountant could go and get money from blockchain, he's trying to exchange so accountant, I will give transaction which will give you money for 11 tokens and please give me back transaction which will give me money for 10 tokens. Accountants can get money for that. And uh, finally, everyone can settle to, 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 to on chain. And we see that now uh, with the, our testnet, people are settling once in a couple of months. So you just wait until your balance will grow a lot and it's saving us a lot. Uh, so, and I think that now uh, it's uh, time for Q and A, and you can ask questions. I need to connect my computer to charger, but I think that Antanas can answer any of your question. Awesome! Thank you so much for that. That was really informative. Um, I know that that I learned a lot. I did not know how everything worked as far as payments and, and whatnot went. So, uh, very cool. Um, so looking at the chat right now, uh, Santiago says, where can I find more info about your payment channel and API? Yeah, so, so basically the Yaro uh, did, did write the so-called white paper on the payments. So you can go to our GitHub, GitHub probably I can share a screen. 
I am already sharing. So I, uh, oh, yeah. on GitHub, yeah, yeah. you just look for smart contracts. A repo, uh, payment smart contracts repo. So here are all the smart contracts. And also you, you can get a white paper. It was called initially accountant pattern. We will, we will upgrade a little bit because we, we, we learned some additional tricks and it will be called Hermes. So in this uh, white paper, you can, you can read some examples, reasoning, all the things. And also you can look on smart co contracts itself. Uh, for those who are Golang coders, uh, we have bindings, uh, bindings for our payment smart contracts. So there is a payment repo in which you, you can get all the needed payment rela related packages for Go developers. Yeah, and, uh, and as for API itself, we have generic API we call Tequila API. It's REST-based API, and uh, there are a couple of calls uh, which are related to payments. So, for example, to get the balance the status, to top up, to settle, uh, so we can find, find the implementation there. Also, you can look uh, how it is done in our source code. And we are looking for, looking for ways to implement other type of APIs in the future. But at the moment, it's, it's the, the basic one, which is called Tequila API. I've posted the link in the chat for everyone to, to look after. <laughs>